So here we have one HZ 1998 model. And I'm checking the fuel timing. I've got the dial gauge in the back of the fuel pump. You've got a 12 mil bolt in the center to remove to get the, uh, the gauge in there. I'd take the oil filter off just to get good access. There's two 12 mil mounting bolts down the bottom, or on the sides, and a 17 mil on the bottom to make the adjustments. I've ran through this procedure already once on this car, and I'm going to double check it now to make sure it's good. And the specs are 0.83 to 0.93. Um, and because I'm on my own, I've got a little mirror so I can see it from below. You gotta set it at your top dead center mark, which is there, top dead center. And there's a mark on the crank you can see from below. You gotta turn it back. So I'm under the car now. I'm gonna turn it back to get the max maximum value. Going around anti clockwise, and that goes to eight eight. As you can see on the gauge, just turn over with the bar. Yeah, we got that setting. We got to zero that. Now that's zeroed. Go. So we're off top dead center because we've gotten backwards to get the maximum value. Now we've got to come forwards to top dead center, which is a mark down here as well on the crank. You can watch the gauge. If you've got two people, it's heaps easier. There's a mark on the crank. And then we got point. Eight two. I'll give you a ten. Well, it's there. Or... Yeah, it's a little bit of clearance in between it. Tolerance. But there you go. Let's make the adjustments. There's seventeen mil on the bottom. 12 mil on the side and there's one at the back if you're unsure I'd recommend putting a mark on the pump where it was which I did and you can see it hardly moved and that's actually gotten rid of the diesel knock noise that I had in the in the engine